the mindset of perfectionism triggers the nervous system to perceive a threat. Precise preparation for a presentation. Is that the answer to nerves? A lot of times that preparation will lead to you sounding robotic, scripted, flat. Perfectionism generally doesn't get us where we want to go. Welcome to the She Speaks to Inspire podcast. I'm your host, Julia Kraft, your authentic expression mentor and public speaking coach. She Speaks to Inspire is an empowering public speaking podcast for women with public speaking fear. Unlike other podcasts on public speaking, She Speaks to Inspire not only gives you tips to be a competent communicator under pressure, but also helps you regulate your nervous system for less anxiety, learn lifestyle practices to reduce burnout and overwhelm, and reconnect with your feminine leadership presence for more authenticity and comfort in your skin. I believe it's the quiet ones, especially the quiet women who have the most important ideas. I believe the world really does need your voice. So let's dive in. Welcome back to another She Speaks to Inspire podcast episode. I'm your host, Julia Kraft. Thank you for being with me. And uh, we're here today to talk about how you can achieve confident communication without hours of preparation. Yes, this is possible. There are three simple steps that I'm going to share with you today to make that possible for you every time that you speak. Let me pause here for a moment before we dive into the content for today and say, if you're getting value from this podcast, if you're loving it, please put a comment down below, follow, like it, share it with a friend, do anything to support this podcast because I really value your participation in this. Like there's no point in me recording it unless it's making a difference for women's lives, as well as I am really passionate about other women getting access to this information and every little thing that you do to support the podcast, like following, subscribing, sending it to a friend, writing a comment, a review, helps more women find this work. Thank you for doing your part and thank you so much for being here with me. Let's dive in. So what often happens is that we're nervous about speaking, right? You're feeling nervous. You're a little anxious about how it's going to go. And so you tend to prepare. Preparation becomes the way to manage anxiety. Now, I want to point out that having a strategy to manage anxiety totally makes sense. I would never ask you to just linger in your anxiety because anxiety is a feeling like we're out of control right? And here's the thing, being in control or perceiving that you are in control allows you to feel more safe. I want you to feel safe. I want you to feel safe. And that's when you're able to think more clearly, your nervous system registers that it can calm down and everything goes more smoothly. However, when it comes to real world speaking moments, like your weekly update meeting, or that interview for the important job that you want to get, or even that conference presentation that some heckler in the audience interrupts you during. No matter how much you prepare, things may go differently, probably will go differently than you planned. And then have you had the experience of being thrown off guard, lost your place, get all jumbled up, fumble, flustered? That's the worst. These are the kind of moments that I hear about from clients as if they were this huge trauma. They leave a scar, a mark that you screwed up. Oh, I failed that time. I really screwed the pooch. In reality, all that happened in that moment is your nervous system got flooded with a feeling of I'm not safe and you couldn't think. So let me ask you, do you think that preparation, having more preparation, precise preparation for a presentation. Is that the answer to nerves? Not all the time. Actually, most of the time I find it's not. A lot of times that preparation will lead to you sounding robotic, scripted, flat. You don't sound like yourself. You don't sound like a human being. 
It will also lead to an underlying attitude of speeding through the communication, rushing through, getting through that moment, getting it over with, which is often really stressful and ultimately not sustainable. Because you're always going to want to avoid speaking if you're just getting through it, right? All these things are happening, and I say this all the time, because of perfectionism. The mindset of perfectionism triggers the nervous system to perceive a threat. Are you searching for control by searching for ways you can do the right thing? Do it perfectly? Well, then I encourage you to ask yourself, in that way of searching for safety and trying to create safety for yourself. Is it working? Ultimately, is it working for you? Is it getting you where you want to go? Perfectionism generally doesn't get us where we want to go, or it does, but for a short time. Like I said before, it's not sustainable. So let's talk about a really easy three-step plan that can help you get where you wanna go, which I assume is confident communication, that you feel confident on the inside, you come across confident on the outside, your audience perceives you as confident. How do we get there? Okay, step number one, it's so simple. In fact, you could do this in 10 to 15 seconds, sitting, no one even know that you were doing it. Step number one, clarify your intention for the communication moment. Clarify your intention. Be really honest about this. If your intention is to sign this person up to buy your product or become a client, then be clear with yourself about that intention. Even if you never say to them, would you like to be my client? That can be underneath your words. If your intention is to see if this person is a good vendor for the company, then have that underneath your tone, even if you never say it directly. If your intention is to persuade or prove your perspective to your boss, then be honest with yourself that you're there to shift their mindset or whatever else your intention is. But be honest with yourself, right? And be clear and direct about what that is and then be true to it, right? Don't give it up. Be true to it. Step number two, once you've clarified your intention, make sure to prepare your state of being. I'm not saying prepare your content, right? You already got your intention clear. You know what this whole thing is going to be about, the purpose of it. Now just focus on your state of being. So say you have a meeting later today, you clarify your intention, and you notice that your state of being is pretty much uh, freaking out. (laughs) Let's just say that. I am freaking out. I'm nervous, I'm anxious, my mind is running a thousand miles a minute. I could just put my head down and try to distract myself for these next three hours until that meeting, or I could actively, proactively do something to shift my state of being into a more confident, centered, relaxed state of being. And we don't really have time to get into exactly what that would be. In other episodes, I talk about this as well as you can go to my website and grab the Performance Anxiety Toolkit, which is a great mini course to learn the beginnings of how to shift your state of being. That's speaktoinspire.com forward slash toolkit. So you've got your intention clear. You are preparing your state of being, shifting your state of being to something that will really support you in that communication moment. And then step number three, there you are with your audience, with the people that you're talking to. This is the moment. Be fully present. Be present and focus on connecting with your audience. You have to let go of everything that came before and just be present in that moment. This is the state of improvisation, the art of improvisation. And it only works if your mind is present and reaching out of you to connect, as opposed to spinning inside. When you reach out of you to connect, you're going to notice things about the environment that you're in, about the people in front of you that you would never notice if you were in your head swirling with anxiety. Make sense? I like to say that if you want to be a better communicator, all the information that you need, everything that you need is over there 
on your audience's face right there. So pay attention. Everything to adjust to, align with, the perfect next thing to say is all right there. Let's recap. In order to achieve confident communication without hours of preparation, you simply need to clarify your intention, prepare your state of being, and then be fully present and focused on connection when it comes to the moment to communicate. Sounds simple? Sure, it's a little challenging to do, especially if you have some habits that are holding you back. So like I said, the toolkit mini course could be a great way to start. Head over to speaktoinspire.com forward slash toolkit. I would love to give you that as an opportunity to get started. And then when you're ready to go deeper, schedule a consult call with me. We'll talk about your goals, your challenges, and see if we're a good fit to work together. Confident communication is 100% possible for you, and the world truly does need your voice. Thanks for listening. This has been She Speaks to Inspire with Julia Kraft, your authentic expression mentor and public speaking coach. I'm so glad you joined me. And I hope you got so much out of this episode. If you want to learn more about Speak to Inspire training programs and get inspired, head over to speaktoinspire.com or follow us on Instagram at She Speaks to Inspire. Never forget. The world needs your voice, and it's time for you to speak to inspire. See you on the next episode.